Hi, my name is Gail Foreman. I am an author and I am from New York. And I decided to read Gian Giovanni's Room by James Baldwin um, in honor of banned books and in honor of pride. And as a reminder, I read it recently as a reminder of how far we have to go, but how far we have come. So, this is from the beginning. I stand at the window of this great house in the south of France as night falls, the night which is leading me to the most terrible morning of my life. I have a drink in my hand, there is a bottle at my elbow, I watch my reflection in the darkening gleam of the window pane. My reflection is tall, perhaps rather like an arrow, my blonde hair gleams. My face is like a face you have seen many times. My ancestors conquered a continent, pushing across death-laden plains until they came to an ocean, which faced away from Europe into a darker past. I may be drunk by morning, but that will not do any good. I shall take the train to Paris anyway. The train will be the same, the people struggling for comfort and even dignity on the straight-backed wooden third-class seats will be the same, and I will be the same. We will ride through the same changing countryside northward, leaving behind the olive trees and the sea and all of the glory of the stormy southern sky into the mist and rain of Paris. Someone will offer to share a sandwich with me. Someone will offer me a sip of wine. Someone will ask me for a match. People will be roaming the corridors outside, looking out of windows, looking in at us. At each stop, recruits in their baggy brown uniforms and colored hats will open the compartment door to ask, complete. We will nod, yes, like conspirators, smiling faintly at each other as they continue through the train.